Halimbawa, meron kayong kilala na nag-survive na isang Indian casino. So, hindi naman kayo yung nag-survive, pero kayo yung sumulat ng article. Kasi, as told to you, as told to you, yung article na yun. Halimbawa, ako yung napaka-ordinary yung your pet in you, yung mga ganyan. Kung baga, ano yung kakaibang experience mo with your pet? O kaya, ano yung kakaibang hobby mo? Yung mga ganyan, yung parang, yung specially sa'yo na experience mo, pero usually ito, kung hindi personal. Next, we have the personality sketch. This type is also called the profile. It brings out the person's distinctive traits, personality. Ito, unlike the personal account, which deals more with the person's unusual experience or accomplishment, use personality sketch about the person himself. So, may kita niyo yung kaibahan kayo nila dito sabi ko, pwede kayong mag-interview hindi tungkol sa isang issue na alam ng tao, kung hindi tungkol dun sa tao mismo. So, doon dito bumabot sa kyo ang personality sa isang cover. Tapos, misan meron tungkol, may write-up sa kanila dun sa nasa cover. Yun yung personality sketch or profile. Tapos, ito, alimbawa, ang unusual experience ni Julia Roberts, pwede another feature article yun, pero yung siya herself is also a personality sketch. So, pwede nyo ipag-combine din, or at the same time, two kinds in one feature. Okay, next. Travelog. Yung travelog, parang historical, obvious naman eh. A destination, pero usually ito, advertorials. Uh, such Such features are best written using this descriptive language. Siyempre naman, kailangan niyo makonvince yung tao ng maganda yung lugar. Or kung advertorial, kailangan niyo maano sila ma-represent yung place na yun na buhay na buhay sa isip nila. So dapat talaga this descriptive language. Yung mga advertorials, maraming naghahanap niyan. Parang si kong press release na rin yan eh. So malaki rin ang pikitain ni John J. Ever. Okay. We have the interpretative. Ito ay very common din. Usually, yung mga ganyan age nyo, may ikot sila ng interpretative features. This type usually deals with social, economic, political, controversial, and or other issues. It is a writer's interpretation or opinion of the topic. So, yung mga nakikita natin yun sa napasok personal, personal essay, yung people under this, kasi yun yung parang interpretation mo, opinion mo sa isang idea. Pwede rin, you're familiar, I'm sure, with columns. Hindi yung mga editorial columns, ha? Yung mga mga columns na parang sa blog. Ano nyo yung blog, di ba? Yung web blog. Parang yung kwento mo lang meron niya. Ano sa'yo, kung meron sa idea, So, it's all just a little bit of 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 a
Baka pa niya hindi pa yung maaprobahan ng editor, makala ko ko sa ibang topic. Okay? And it should be catchy. Uh, why? Kasi syempre, sa dinami-dami na natatanggap ng articles, dapat yung iyo, sa title pa lang, mag-stand out na. Parang, oops, ganda to ah, medyo babasahin ng editor yung first paragraph. Kasi kung napakakomon ng title mo, parang alam na alam na niya kung ano yun, tapos tsaka na lang nababalikan. Plus, it shows na kung malang pa sa creativity. Okay, next. We have the lead. Napaka-importante rin ito because ito yung first paragraph or sentence that will book or in other words, allows the interest of the readers to continue reading. Kumbaga, nandito yung pinaka-essence na kailangan. Pag binasa to ng isang editor o ng isang bumabasa ng magazine, hindi niya ito turn at a new page. Rather, tutapusin niya yung article mo. Okay, next. Uh, aside from introducing the theme of your article, the lead sets the tone and style. So, ipagpapatuloy niya yung sinimula ng time discussing the body, either in a sentence or a paragraph. Pwede na namang writing a flashback to the lead. Halimbawa, nagsimula kayo ng isang article na meron kayo kung sinayot na isang incident. Let's say, uh, tungkol sa safety measures during an earthquake. So, kung nag-start kayo yung, yung article nyo na meron kayo kwentong bahagya na, mabawa, you are at home and then biglang lumingin mo what will you do? So, pag tapos sa body, di-discuss mo na yung pinaka-deep mo na yung topic. Pagdating sa conclusion, pag flashback, babalik kayo, kung di-discard mo na naman, or babalik kayo doon sa eksena, na unang muna yung sinay doon sa beginning, doon sa lead. Yun na ibig sabihin ng flashback to the lead. Okay? So, yun yung parts ng feature articles. Tapos ngayon, may questions kayo? Ito, mas hagi ba kayo? Okay. Ilang minutes to? Ito, one minutes to. Okay. 